Big flipper time. Let's show the audience what we're working with today in Palm Springs. I always say I'm more scared of these 20 footers than the 40 footers. This one's at 44,000 pounds. I'll be doing it off the side. <laughs> I know I see this stuff like daily, but it always cracks me up. It's just funny looking. All right. The locks are still done. I'm gonna attach, we'll take off the locks. I'll do a straight lift. This guy will pull this out of here and they'll back up a good chassis. I know a lot of you guys are familiar with Plaza, Plaza towing Trent over there. He actually spotted me on the way over here. I didn't catch him, but he was going the opposite way on the freeway, so. Shout out to Trent at Plaza Tow. Excited to test my new toy today. Uh, let's get this in the shade. This is my new wireless load cell with the 50,000 pound working load limit. I don't need the paperwork, let me just throw this here. For super accurate readings on these heavy lifts. You guys don't think I'm lying. All right. Let's get the truck in position and then I'm going to set that up. I completely forgot I'm not in Hulk, which has four container slings. This one only has two, so uh, I'll be using a different method for the lift. I'm thinking container, container slings and four loops. Drop the outriggers just a little bit. Not 100%, but just enough to so where I boom out and rig only in the truck. Between those two red shackles is the, uh, the wireless load, so I'll drop a link in the description, but it just came out in December. It's a brand new model. Pretty sick. These loops are about 21,000 in a single line. The others are uh, I think like 19,000. So I'm good on, on the way I'll be lifting. Okay, let's just put these here for now. No need for these. And let's put a little bit of tension on this. the lines and make sure that my links right up even there's more info on that load cell can't wait to see if it really is 44,000 all right I'm locked up he's gonna undo the locks then it's time for flipper to get to work How much uh, are those? Uh, it, looks, it looks higher, man. I, I mean, that's 115 too, so that's less unforgiving. You know what I'm saying, bro? Let me try to. Out yet? 
Uh, I just don't want to see anybody get hurt, bro. Let me try to uh, go down and in. Should get it away a bit. Let's see what the ray this says. I'm gonna leave this here. So I can get a, uh, probably send right here. Surely. Oh, snaps. 25,000 pounds of force. See how close you can be to that line? That's, that's 115,000 volts. That's not 12 PV. Alright, let me bring it in. Hello, that's 115,000 volts. This is additional voltages. Alright, I'm bringing it in now, now that I got it airborne. Let me have this guy pull forward. Yeah, yeah this is way heavier than I thought. 27,000. Oh my god, that's heavy. Hold on. I, I need you to pull out ASAP because of the lines. Yeah, he has to. Let me take a picture of this. This one? No. That this, piece? But, I mean, what, are you going to try to have that big rig and back on the fucking thing? What I can do, let me get this guy to get the hell away. I don't think it's going to go. I'm going to. Rear axles aren't going to unlock. Oh, he told me he caged them. What I can do is uh, I'll help cage the brakes for him. The line drips all. I thought the brakes were caged. Oh, well, the line drips all. He's not even doing it all. Does he have caging bolts? Uh, well, like I said, I was going to rotate more this way. Just sit it down offset, then back up and redo the lift. Yeah. Let me get it out of the way for now. You want to send on that side and tell me how far until I'm, I'm, I'm good from the lines? You said 15 feet? Yeah. Once you let me know that it's okay, I'll, I'll, I'll rush the truck and, and cage the brakes. More? Yeah. All right. I know you don't want to, but... 
Yeah, we gotta get oh, it's okay. Let me just make sure the truck is fine. Because I'm heading towards the weak side. I'm swinging 50, what is it, 54,000 pounds. Yep. Let me let it on the green. I am glad I got that. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make myself stronger by going up with the boom first and then tucking in at the same time. And then rotating some more. Can I swing this all the way to the back? Just worried about that corner. Good. All right, the Edison guys gave me that okay. Okay, I'm gonna hold it here while I work on the the brakes. Wow, this is cool. That's pretty cool, man. Big flipper, you strong beast. Let me get my uh, three-quarter wrench and start caging these brakes on that trailer. All right. Oh, man. Let's throw the load cell back on. Big flipper, you were strong. Had to cage the guy's brakes. Gun wouldn't fit, so I had to do it manually with uh, a wrench. I'm all dirty. Here's what it is. Rating right under 27,000, cool. So what we're gonna do now, is I thought I got the okay and everything was deactivated since this has been here for a few hours from uh, the first guy. Then some supervisors show up and tell me that, you know, they're live. And I gotta be within 15 feet, so I have to do what I had to do. Just push this thing out as far to the side I could while being safe. Now I'm a good distance away, no arc jumps. And from here, what I'm gonna do is uh, boom down, set it on the floor, back up and re-rig. If I drop it behind me though, how am I going to back up to get it off the side? Uh, well, you put it right there on your rear, so don't go any farther than you are now. Uh, this is where I'm at. I'm, I'm going to do it here and then I'm going to back up. Right. Trust me, man, it's a lot easier than it looks. Uh, it is. The dangerous part is you're supposed to work off the back or off the side. I'm working on the back pocket, which could flip the truck. It's over 50,000 pounds that I'm lifting. So what I'm doing is I'm just getting it safe to where it's here. Then I can do individual lines to pick up one, pick up one, pick up one, pick up one, and scoot it over that way. But this is a spot I need it in, which, which is pretty good for me. these guys on my case man what is this it scared me though I'm not gonna lie
Now my load cell is reading 60. It's just the weight of the, the rigging. So now what I'm gonna do is back up. Well, first let me push this thing off the side. Back up and re-rig. Excellent. All right, so I backed it up. Now when I do all my lifting and positioning of the container, Super good distance from those lines. That was fun. Now it's going to slide to me. There we go. Slide. Good. Cool. Now set it down. Let it out on my cable so I can readjust. What happened? You're gonna bring that chassis down? What am I gonna put this on? The chassis right here. Oh, bro, you guys gotta tell me stuff like this beforehand. I'm, I'm, I don't know. I thought there was another chassis here. Back, back it up right here. here? Right, Just back it up right next to me. Right Smile and wave, Josh. You guys told me that right when I'm about to set up. Alright, now I gotta take all this rigging out. I'll just swing the boom around the other side, take off the chassis. Alright, chassis time. Let's play with the red a little bit first. This is the heavy side. And we'll tug on the green. Put some slack on the green while I go up with the boom slightly. Alright, alright. Both cables simultaneously. See if we got lift off. Perfect. Don't get no easier than that. We can drive forward now. That's fine. Yeah, let, let him go. Uh, you can put it on the bed. Civilization for miles. No offense to anyone that lives in Palm Springs. I'm gonna scoot this forward more so the guy doesn't have to drive as far back. I gotta get the rear tires off on the back though. Right 
tires can't be in the ditch. that uh we do a lot of jobs under power lines but i'm actually at a power plant um nothing but lines here and i got every 30 minutes uh a new socal edison employee watching me and making sure i'm not an idiot which is right i mean this is a, a tough job i don't blame them but geez the pressure is on I had to scoot this thing back. I didn't work off uh show you where that's at. Boom. Right overhead. The issue is this guy had ripped up all his airlines. So he couldn't drive forward or scoot back at all. Where there's open space. I had to lift up the box cage. Oh, you know what? get in position I'm gonna jump up top and then we'll be done with this car all right now let's bring the sucker to me by going up with the boom so it'll slide and twist good now I pull on the red cable Completely forgot. Oh no, my idol's off. Good. Make sure it's off. Ooh, yep. All right, red cable one more time. There we go. Now let out with the green. Get in with the red. Perfect. Now let's get my load cell. Wait till we go airborne. Rotate away from the, the kit, the power lines, just a little bit. Just a tad. Right there. That gives me a little bit of wiggle room and I feel a little bit safer. Should have put those full boxes out right there. Eh? And it's hooked up with the red.
Good job, big flipper. All right, so now, let me get next to it. I'm gonna get next to it on the other side so we're not blocking traffic. I'll pick it up and you'll back up underneath, okay? So right here where I'm standing, where Flipper's at. The lines are right there and this is where the container originally was. You can see where he dragged uh, the middle tire. I caged the front and the third axle on the broken chassis. And he was able to lift it forward. Oh man. All in a day's work. My Vokes are red, 27,000 pounds on one side. So times that by two, 54,000 pound container on a 20 footer. Yikes. I'm gonna put the truck away and get to the chassis and then I'll come back for the final step. I could hear the electricity from here. It's crazy. Well, anyways, we are here. I'm gonna start by picking up the back end straightening a knot and then chaining it together that way when I lift it up it doesn't come apart should be fun rotator stuff Hey, what the? <laughs> I would park next to the hole. Oh, this should be absolute cakewalk for Flipper. Quick release shackles, man. But the real deal.
see how much easier this was. Let me drag it. Drag this sucker. All the way back here, right? Front's good. Let go of the green. Almost. Let's get this stuff out of the way. Let that hang. One in the back. Right there. It's all good. Get my shackle up. Back up. Back them up. This is lazy, no container slings, regular loops. Um, that might decent change up around the broken chassis in the top part. There's good, just keep just go straight back from there. Perfect. He's doing great. Alright, he's good.
Want to just clear the bed really quick of all the binders and chains so I can set it down? Uh, thank you. Alright, now this is going to be easy because all I need is a back end. Pretty much the tires to be good because I can always adjust the front. It's easier to adjust the lighter side. No one's called me that. Tear, tear. That's another reason why I didn't cage all the brakes. This would have rolled. This one is stuck. Brake set. I caged that one and that one. Okay, you're ready to chain. Woo! That one is mine, yes. I can tell because it's very nice and gold. Premium 3 8 chain. This is my cue to leave, and like that, I'm out of here. I hope you guys enjoyed. Excuse me while I get dirty and put all my stuff away. I drive two and a half hours back to the shop. Peace. Whoa, 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 look at you guys. You got bonus footage. On the way back to the shop, we got a rollover under a bridge. Oh, using the deck winch and then I, I catch as well. So I'm gonna need you, I'm gonna need you way over here. Hey, can we get in here? Yeah. Well, we're not gonna do that. No? No. Okay. Back up, I'll stop you. Mm. All right, back me up, dog. I'm gonna hug the the K rail. How convenient! I got my dad and Hulk and my baby. place at the right time when I was in Palm Springs if you're familiar with the area it's about a 90 minute to two hour drive give or take back to LA and you can take the 10 west or the 60 west I just happened to decide on the 60 and lo and behold this is on the 60 
set up the outriggers get some boom line looks like my dad already did the pre-pick you see that wood underneath he cribbed it got the straps huh oh i'm talking to youtube rudy oh hey put some outriggers out on this side anything helps Dad, I have. 
a 10 foot sling. You want that? No, I'm gonna put a cable on each one. All right, so I like that. Bring the smash box. Gosh, one minute, I'm gonna go down. Bring them real slow, real slow, real slow. Real, 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 real. Oh, watch out. Okay, that's good. Hey. Right there, Rudy. A lot of commotion. Don't worry, CHP. We'll get this open for you in no time. This baby right here. Yeah. up on the deck winch do a test pull put some tension on it oh yeah that leaf spring is completely off so not a good idea to pull from here unless I chain it I'm gonna have to chain it shouldn't be here. I'll take these two. Half inch chain. This is gonna be hard. We'll put it right here, right here.
like this. the boom oh shoot we're doing this Okay. 